What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lecky Murray, back with another Game Caught News update. And today, we're talking about one bold prediction that the writers of 24 7 Sports have about the Carolina Game Cops. We're going to talk about this. Before I do, man, I need you to do three things. One, check out the Lucky Report. I am giving you the sauce on what I think that A, why South Carolina should go to. A bowl game. I need you to read the article and comment on the blog. It's right there in the description. And also, it's the pinned comment too. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you subscribe, share the video. If you're not, subscribe. Once you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Notification bell like you know every time I drop a video. I know it's a mouthful, but I have to say that at all times because YouTube, you know, requires that sometimes. But as we can see, guys. Spring game is coming up, and predictions in April are happening about football. And the the, the guys at 24-7 Sports gave bold predictions for all the teams, all teams of the SEC. I was going to count them, but I didn't want y'all to be like, well, lucky there's not, you know, 15 teams in the SEC. Off the top of my dome, I don't necessarily remember or know. But the one cool thing about this is, the fact that they gave South Carolina some love. So, we're going to look at it and we're going to talk about this uh, right now. South Carolina, like you said, you, you see Kevin Harris right there. You see the situation. It says, it's a bold prediction. Let's get into it. The game cops produce 2,000 yards rushing by season end. Not only does South Carolina welcome back Kevin Harris in the backfield, who quietly led the SEC in rushing last fall prior to bowl season, but five-star redshirt freshman Marshawn Lloyd Suits up for his first action coming off an ACL injury. The one-two punch alongside quarterback Luke Doty is one of the nation's most underrated combinations, and both players are capable of sharing the load and getting to 1,000 yards. If South Carolina is stubborn enough to in the running game, the game count strength this season will be at the line of scrimmage and slowing the pace with two top-flight ball carriers. So let's talk about that real quick, man, before we go any further what what do i think about this man uh, what what do i think about this i'm going to tell you exactly what i think about this now south carolina we talked about this at nauseum uh that kevin harris and marshawn lord is going to be nasty in the backfield uh, marshawn lord if you haven't seen that 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 play where he hurdle overdue in high school ran the touchdown show you athleticism um he was going to be a problem last year until he had the acl injury but hey kevin harris in a COVID season um rush led the sec in rushing like nobody really expected it he said quietly and a lot of people when i said nobody expected kevin harris to do that like well kevin harris blah 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 no he had the potential blah. i understand that we look at the production and we base it off of what happens last year not last year but the year before right i mean yeah we can say this guy has the potential all day long but they don't produce on the field we have to go by the results on the field with saying that we have a starting lineup at the office lineman that's a veteran group okay they're much improved from last year because they have you know the the the, the jealousy the jealousy the je they, they gel, right? That's the word I was trying to use, but I messed it up. They gel together. You know, they got the cohesiveness, right? They like Gorilla Glue. I don't know if they're going to be like Gorilla Glue tight, you know, you know, not not moving. But you get my illustrations. My Sean Lloyd is going to come in, man. And then two, not to think about it, I think the carry on Jordan is going to get some touches from the backfield. Not as primary running back no but i mean like as a gadget player you know trying to give him the ball in space and you know short routes you know tall sweeps you know getting him in the mix so i wouldn't be surprised if we start the season off with a two back uh backfield you know have a two back uh a h back in the middle and then we, we we're in that wing t uh kind of situation not wing t but i, I want to say wing t i don't think it's, it's not wing t it's the quarterback H back, it's almost like an option situation, but it's not an option. Oh, guys, y'all let me know in the comment section what I'm thinking about right now. I, I can't. It's too early. I can't. Can't think about it. But I think that that is uh, not a bold prediction. I think that could be very true. 
you know, if Marshawn Lord and Kevin Harris dominates together and we slow the tempo down, that's going to make our defense a lot, 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 lot more uh, able to play a lot better because they're not going to be so tired and be on the field all the time. Last year, it seemed like our defense was on the field every single drive, it seemed like. Every other, every single time you turn on the TV, the offense was turning the ball over, the defense was in terrible position. And if they're tired and they can't really move, of course they're going to give up yards. But I don't think this is a bold prediction at all, man. What you think about the comment section below? Before I go, man, here's what I need you to do, man. Here's what I need you to do, man. Check out the Lucky Report, man. With South Carolina receive a bowl bid in 2021. You read it. You let me know. I'm not going. I'm not going to have that up there so that you could just read it off the screen. No, go to the description below, man. Support the Lucky Report, man. That's my weekly blog. That I give you guys right. I'm not just a vlogger, okay. I'm not a sports vlogger, man. I'm also a multimedia mogul, right? Mogul. But anyway, again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. Please. Don't forget all three. Lucky Berry back with another Gamecock news update. And yes, I can't wait to spring game. I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait to see it. So we can have something to talk about. We have actual football to talk about. Y'all let me know what you think about the comment section below. Like always, it's the next time, people.